It is now in order to consider amendment number five printed in House Report 118-428. For what purpose does the gentleman from Michigan seek recognition? Mr. Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk would designate the amendment. Amendment number five, printed in House Report number 118-428. Offered by Mr. Molinaire of Michigan. Pursuant to House Resolution 10 1085, the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Molinaire, and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Michigan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My amendment is straightforward. It prohibits the EPA from issuing a water permit to a company that is based in a foreign country of concern, as well as any of its subsidiaries. The countries of concern are China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. This is common sense. As a member of the Select Committee on the Strategic Competition between the U.S. and the Chinese Communist Party, I've seen firsthand how the CCP is trying to disrupt American leadership around the world and replace it with their own authoritarian regime. Here at home, Americans feel like China is constantly taking advantage of our country and our freedoms. They're sick and tired of seeing the CCP fly spy balloons over our country, bribe our service members to spy on us, hack our computer systems, poison our communities with fentanyl, and depress our children with secret social media algorithms based in Beijing. Mr. Chair, if you talk to constituents in your hometown and ask them if we should allow CCP-affiliated companies to use 700 thousand gallons of water a day, they would all say, of course not. Unfortunately, in my district, a CCP-affiliated company called Goshen is trying to bully its way into a town. The company was rejected in a recall election last November and now is suing a rural township over its plans to build a factory and use 700,000 gallons of water a day. The EPA should not be issuing permits to CCP-affiliated companies and their subsidiaries. We cannot allow China to take advantage of our country's natural resources. My amendment is necessary, and it is common sense. I urge my colleagues to vote yes, and I yield back. Does the gentleman reserve? Yes, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman, gentleman reserves, gentlewoman. Mr. Speaker. Purpose says the gentlewoman from California seek recognition. Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to amendment offered by the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Molinar. The gentlewoman is recognized for five minutes. For over 50 years, the federal-state partnership created by the Clean Water Act has allowed communities to enjoy clean water and has given businesses the certainty they use need to create jobs and spur economic growth. Yet, if this amendment becomes law, both EPA and every state who has taken on responsibility for implementing Clean Water Act would have to deny clean water permits for any, I underscore, any facility or activity associated with a foreign government of concern. That means that any U.S. subsidiary of a company with economic ties to China, Russia, or any other foreign country of concern would, by statute, be denied the ability to operate and expand in this country if their activities trigger Clean Water Act review. I know Representative Molinar is concerned about the announced $2.3 billion investment in the state of Michigan that is likely to create an additional 2,350 good paying jobs and that Governor, Governor Major, Michigan Governor Whitman has called the biggest ever economic development project in Northern Michigan. However, this amendment is not limited, not limited to Michigan. How many other U.S. subsidiaries of foreign companies will also be caught up in this amendment? How will the General Electric appliance manufacturing plants in Kentucky, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, and South Carolina continue to operate if this amendment is adopted? GE Appliances is a subsidiary of a Chinese-owned company. How will this amendment affect Smithfield Foods operations in Maryland and Virginia if these facilities are forever denied clean water permits? because of their association with a Chinese owner. Motorola is one of the world's leading manufacturers of smartphones. However, this Chinese-owned company has numerous office, offices and manufacturing facilities throughout the U.S., including new 136,000-square-foot facility in Richardson, Texas. 
Will the Molinar Amendment make it logistically impossible for Marola to continue to operate in the U.S.? House Democrats have been leading the charge to ensure that the Clean Water Act continues to accomplish both goals, clean water and job creation. House Democrats will continue to build a strong record of sustainable job creation and support of domestic manufacturing. Prohibiting the issuance of Clean Water Act permits for prices that have investment from certain foreign entities will li is likely to be unimplementable will increase the potential for litigation and delay and ultimately only threaten clean water. I oppose the amendment and encourage my colleagues to oppose the amendment. I reserve the balance of my time. Reserves, gentlemen, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Again, I would just like to restate for the members that we are talking about countries of concern, China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. When we consider China and the CCP has been flying spy balloons, bribing our service members, poisoning our communities with fentanyl, and the malign activity that they are having around the globe, why would we submit ourselves to our greatest natural resources? Uh, and, and to me, it's just common sense. When we're funding uh, projects, when we're developing the future of our country, why would we further our dependence on our adversaries? With that, I reserve. Gentlemen reserves, gentlewoman is recognized. I reserve. Gentlewoman reserves. Gentlemen is recognized. Just in closing, I would ask our colleagues to vote yes, and I yield back. Gentlemen yields. Gentlewoman is recognized. I yield back. Gentlewoman uh, yields. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Michigan. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.